Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. A cloudy Sunday morning here in the Philippines, but I'm hoping it'll bring some much needed rain that we really haven't been getting too much here over the past month. Well, this morning we have an exciting short episode for you. It has to do with it is about time to pick that Jurassic Park lemon from our lemon tree. Well, let's go ahead and get that lemon. Now, without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now over there by our raised bed garden is where we have two lemon trees. One has not yielded any lemons yet, and one has an abundance of lemons. And we're gonna go over there in just a moment. But something I just wanna talk about, about growing fruit trees or citrus trees, especially right here in this part of the Philippines. Uh, because I believe they do so well, here it has something to do with the volcanic activity, all the compost from all the breakdown of, look at all the vegetation around here over the years and years. The soil is very rich here. Uh, so we've been really successful in our early stage of growing plants and vegetables and citrus right here in our backyard at Villa Feliz. I'd like to show you what's growing on that lemon tree back there. And the next step is, I don't know how much of it is skin, how much is it is actually juice on the inside. How much lemonade can we make from one lemon? We're gonna find out in just a moment. So let's head on over to our lemon tree. This morning, I'm gonna employ Ness to help me picking a lemon. And you wonder, do I need? Do I need assistance picking a lemon? Well, I think when you see the lemon that we're going to pick here this morning, you're gonna understand why. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's go ahead and take a look at our tree. This is our lemon tree. This is our raised bed garden over here. Uh, th this is actually, there's two trees coming out of here and we have bamboo support helping this because this tree at the very beginning, we had a few typhoons this year and uh, it, it, they kind of pushed, uh, the typhoons pushed the, the plants over around in the yard, but we got them straightened back up again. All right, let's go ahead and try to find the lemon that we're gonna have Ness pick here in just a minute. Is it this lemon? Nah, this one is, this is a standard size. Look, look at the size, this would be the standard size, maybe even a little bit bigger than you would normally find inside the supermarket. Oh, maybe it's this one down here? No, it is not even this one down here, and this is, even bigger than the last one that we looked at. Oh, let's look around. Let's see if we can find it. Is it this lemon? No, it's not this lemon. Oh, look at the size of this lemon right here. This is huge. But no, it's not even this lemon right here. It is this lemon right here. Oh my God, that's too big. <laughs> okay. And so, as big as my hand. Well, it's already, <laughs> it's already ripened on the vine. So Ness, are you, are you ready? To, are you ready to pick a lemon? You think, you, you think you're capable uh, of handling that much weight of a lemon? Okay, let's go ahead and I pick this one. It's going to take me two hands. Okay, let's it see. Is. I think you got to spin it and twist it off of the vine. Okay. I, okay. There you go. Oh my God. All right, well, let's look. Yeah. <laughs> look. <laughs> Okay, well let's go ahead. Let's bring it. Let's bring it into the house. Let's open it up and let's see how much juice we can get from one Jurassic Park lemon. I right, know sometimes things that are bigger, like this, sometimes bigger and not better. Uh, so I don't know what's inside this lemon right here. It's going to be a surprise as much to me as it is to you right here. It might be full of juice. It might be almost all skin. Let's go ahead and open it up and find out. Uh, can we actually use this to make lemonade? Okay, so this is kind of an example of what I was saying. Sometimes bigger is not better. Uh, you can see how much of the skin uh, is on here. That's a lot of skin. And it looks like we might have had a little bit of insect damage. Maybe we waited just a little bit too long to pick this. I'm gonna still try to see how much juice that we can get from this area right here. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can get inside this pan. All 
I now have the lemon pretty much extracted from here and it's inside this bowl right here. And this is how much we have. Now I'm going to separate the pulp and the seeds and let's see how much juice we actually have so we can determine how much we have for making our lemonade. Now that we've taken all the juice out and we strained it, we have this amount that's inside the cup here. I don't know how much this is. We're going to see. So I'm going to pour it. This is one cup. Let's see how much it goes inside one cup. So I'm going to say this is about, about a third of a cup. Now, if you're making a gallon, about a gallon of lemonade, I think the recommend, recommended amount is one cup of pure lemon juice when you're mixing your lemonade. So we're going to make a liter. We're going to try to make a liter of juice. So uh, with the math, you divide it by four, and it would be a quarter of a cup. So let's go ahead and look and see. Uh, this is a quarter cup right here. Let's pour it in here, see so how much we actually have. Well, we have more than a quarter, so I'm going to say at least two-thirds. So this should be, I'm going to add this to almost, it's almost a half. So this is the equivalent. What we pulled out of this one lemon here is probably the equivalent of about three lemons because you would normally put six lemons in a gallon of lemonade. So one lemon right here is equivalent to about three lemons on the smaller side for the amount of juice that we got. So let's go ahead and mix up some lemonade and see what it tastes like. Oh, it's starting to rain here. Anyway, we're going to go ahead. I, I want to get the exact amount. I'm going to look at the amount of juice that we were extracted. This was a quarter of a cup. Let's look at the next. Pour this inside here. And almost, almost another quarter cup. So we've got almost a half a cup from this lemon right here. Okay, we're going to add some water and a little bit of ice and a little bit of sugar. I'm going to taste and see if the taste from the big Jurassic Park lemon is good or not. Let's add some sugar. Okay. Now now for the, the taste test. Uh, is, you know they say the proof is in the pudding. Well the proof is going to be in the lemonade. Uh, the lemonade today. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> do, do bigger lemons taste better? Do they taste not as good as the smaller lemons? Oh, let's find out. Let's find out. Now Ness is kind of hardcore. She doesn't go with any ice. I go with ice. So uh, she's going to get probably the fuller taste than I'm going to get right here. Uh, and I tell you, this isn't rehearsed. Uh, we haven't tasted this before, so we don't know what we're going to get. Anyway, okay. cheers. Oh. <laughs> it's actually good. Yeah. I, I'm good, surprised. Good. I want I'm, more lemon. Ah, you want more lemon? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't I don't like it too. This is uh I like it like this. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Well that is our our uh, <laughs> experience of, of what we in our backyard call the biggest lemon in the world. I don't know if it's the biggest lemon in the world. Uh, I'll have to do some research to see other people's lemons well. like that. But it's definitely Bigger than what I normally see for lemons. It's deceiving. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, as short as it might be. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, click on that little My PI Dream. All right, in the bottom right-hand side of your screen, you'll be subscribed and notified the next time we upload a new video. From right here in the backyard <laughs> in the Philippines, you have a wonderful <laughs> and blessed weekend. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well